So I need to use the tag library in the emp.csp. So the tag library will be used using this uh, syntax here and I need to specify the URI. So under URI, so what I need to do is I need to go for first thing uh, HTTP colon to forward slash. I have to go for Java dot sun dot com slash here JSP slash JSTL slash core tags. First thing I will go for core tags and prefix is supposed to be C. And the next thing is again the tag libraries uri equals to i can go with http colon or slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl slash sql and its prefix is supposed to be sql itself so these are the tag libraries which are used to work with the jstl SQL and JSTL code tags as well. So, because uh, in this tutorial, means in this EMP dot JSP application, I'm going to use both code tags and uh, SQL tag libraries. So, here in this one, what I need to do is uh, I need to establish the connection right now using the JSTL tags. So, first of all, I need to go for SQL. So, this is the SQL set data source here i need variable and that variable is supposed to be a db connection and then i need driver that is supposed to be com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver and i need to go for the data source here so in order the data source so I need to go for URL here URL equals to JDBC colon MySQL colon to forward slash local host the forward slash the name of the database is simple and then I can go for the user, user is supposed to be root and I need to go for the password, password is whatever the password that our database has. So I had 123 is my password. So close this tag, close the SQL data source tag. So this will establish the connection to the database using uh, this uh, driver which is called com.mysql.jdbc driver. And the URL is supposed to be this one, which is a local host and user and the password we must go for this one. And that connection is stored in this uh, variable to be con. The next thing is to extract the data from any one table. So here we need to go for SQL column. For that, we can go for query. And data source is supposed to be db con and this should be sorry this should be like this and then we need a variable that is called the result of the data and SQL query and go for select store from EMP the name of the table which is available so this is the a statement which is used to obtain the records from this EMP table and store that into the variable result using the connection dbcon which is created over here and our next work is to present the record which is obtained from this EMP to the front end or to the to the front end for the client.